Hello and welcome to Centurus Power BI Visualizations Intermediate. My name is Patrick Powers, trainer, data architect, and developer here at Centurus. Today's module is on visualization drills. In this video, we will look at how to create a visualization that allows the user to navigate up and down a hierarchy, as well as connect visualizations with a drill through. There is both the concept of drill through and drill down with PBI visualizations. A drill through is where we connect objects and navigate from one to another. This is typically used when going from summary data to more detailed information. A drill through can be done either from clicking directly on a data point or by the developer adding a button to the canvas. Drill down and conversely drill up allow the user to navigate up and down the hierarchy of data. The data must be in a hierarchical format for this to work, and you must have a hierarchy available. When Power BI detects data in a hierarchy and drill is enabled, drill controls will appear at the top of the visualization pane. Let's go ahead and build a hierarchy into our reports, allowing users to drill up or down to see additional detail. We'll build a visualization that allows the users to start at the highest level of a map and drill deeper into the data. So I've started a new page and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to expand dim customer and check the box next to country. This adds it to, to my canvas as a map because country has been defined as geographic region. I'm going to resize the map to fill my canvas. We now want to go to the state level for a selected country. We can't just check the box next to state in our data as Power BI would add it to the legend. We need to explicitly drag it under country in the location drop zone of the visualization pane. So we're going to take state and we're going to drop it right here. Next, we'll repeat these steps with city and with postal code. So we've created our hierarchy here in the location drop zone. Next, we want to add a measure and some additional detail to our map. From fact internet sales, I'm going to take sales amount to the size drop zone. And now we see that each circle is represented by the size of the sales amount. From dim customer, I'm going to take gender. And I'm going to drag it to the legend. Now each one of my circles is divided by the gender data item. If we click on any of the circles in the map, it doesn't do anything. Drilling must be enabled first. In the map on the canvas, click the down arrow right above the visualization. This will turn on drill down. Notice that the icon has changed to indicate that drill down is now enabled. We're going to go ahead and click on the circle for Australia. And that takes us down to the state level. If I click on Melbourne, I go down to the city level. If we click on this one here, if we click on Warrnambool, here we see the postal code that's available for this region. Now we can add additional levels. It does not have to come from this same table. So if I go to dim order date and I expand out the date hierarchy, I can add year right below postal code. When I click on this mark, these are the individual orders placed in each one of the years from this location. If I want to drill back up, I can use the arrows up here and this takes me back up my hierarchy. And I can repeat the process by clicking down onto any given mark. And here I am at a particular postal code in Imperial Beach. And as you can see, when you're using a map, you can even go to the street level. We can drill back up. And we're here at our map. So this is using a drill up and a drill down 
to navigate hierarchies. A drill through differs in that we're going typically from a summary level to detail level. It can also be used to go from one physical report page to another. This is known as a cross through drill. In our next demo, we're going to go ahead and we'll start at the summarized sales for each year and drill through to the country sales for the selected year. Create a new report page and we're going to add a clustered column chart. Let's resize that to fill the canvas. From dim order date, date hierarchy, I'm going to check the box next to year, and from fact internet sales, sales amount. Here we have again each of our years with the sales. This will act as our parent report. So we'll click the plus sign again, and this page will act as our child report. Since we're going to be using this as parent and child, let's rename these pages. So we'll call this one parent report and child report. In the visualization pane, we'll click on the clustered column chart, but we're not going to resize it just yet. Under dim customer, we'll check the box next to country. And under fact internet sales, sales amount. This gives us our base child. We now want to configure this to allow for drill through and for filtered fields. From order date, take year and drop it on the add drill through fields here. In this same section of the pane, click on the cross report to allow this page to be used by other reports as a drill through. Note that this has automatically added a back button for us to return back to the original page. Now we can resize and rearrange as desired to make this look good for our users. Let's go back to the parent report. We'll right click the 2019 mark and we'll select drill through child report. Notice that this has been filtered for 2019. If we control click the back button, we return back to our parent report. So here we've left this report, we see the filtered results, and we have a way to navigate back. That concludes this module where we use drill up and drill down functionality, as well as drilling through to another visualization. Tune in to our next video where we look at how to create new columns and measures. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and check back for the next entry in the series. Thank you for watching.